The number of injuries and deaths in Alabama work zones is up, and that number could rise as more projects are happening, paid for by the increased gas tax. Well, tonight, a Morgan County commissioner is trying to keep those sites safer for construction workers. Way 31's Shos Pedrosian explains how. Dan Naja, I spoke with one construction worker today who told me he's having to work double in order to protect the construction site and those working on it. And I, I hope that people would slow down enough and, and set their phones down, whatever they're doing, it's not important, you know, than driving that vehicle. Ray Miller has been working for the Morgan County District 3 Road Department for nearly 25 years. He tells me he usually would be working in the truck on this site only, but he now has to double the work by having to control the traffic flow on construction sites too. We got to be out here and, and people want us to fix these things, but they don't want us to hold them up either. We spend a lot more time uh, trying to warn drivers of work areas than what we used to. Uh, distracted driving has really contributed to that. The Alabama Department of Transportation says 2018 saw the most construction zone crashes and deaths in 13 years. 34 people died. In Morgan County, Commissioner Don Stisher tells me road department workers are now using their flags more and putting up warning signs miles before a construction zone. Do what the workers or flagmen are asking you to do. Uh, put your phone down or pull over when you need to use it. That's our regulations and rules. I know it's convenient. Everybody's got a cell phone. But uh, we're seeing more and more close call situations, and uh, we just don't want that close call to become a accident. Everybody wants to be safe. We want our men to come home just like you want your family members to come home. Commissioner Stisher tells me he wants drivers to be more aware and cautious of construction signs, especially in those in highly traveled roads. In Morgan County, Shosh Pedrosian, Way 31 News.